good afternoon everybody this is ben over here at hoyer equipment today we're going to take our first look at the mahindra 5100 series just released 2022 5100 series let's take a look at it all right so uh this is pretty exciting mahindra hasn't done a clean sheet build tractor in a few years COVID or no COVID, new products are always interesting so let's give this one a, a little bit of a shakedown uh, everybody's operation is a little bit different and everybody's operator is a bit different. But I'm going to give you this from my perspective. Um, the things I see, the things I like, the couple of things I wish they would have done something different. And, uh, most people appreciate honesty. And if you don't, you're tough luck, wrong channel. Uh, anyway, this is the 5145. This is the 45 horse, 45 horsepower, naturally aspirated version. This tractor is also available in an identically sized and uh, matrixed 55 horse turbocharged version. Uh, so back to the 45 that we have in front of us right here and now. 45 engine, 38 on the PTO. We start right here where, let's just start up here on the front corner. So uh, this loader, this loader is, uh, is a very capable, very well built loader by KMW out of Kansas. Uh, it obviously is a quick attaching loader with the skid steer quick attach tool carrier to help with hooking up uh, very easily to your hay spear, pallet forks, brush grapple, snow plow, etc. etc. Uh, has a nice curvature boom on it, allows you high visibility from the operator seat as you will see. You have the brush guard just like the one on the 6000 series Mahindras. With one addition that they made a change with, you have this one you do tilt forward where on the 6000s it's fixed, but you only have one handle. You don't have to do this side and then go to the other side. So that was smart. Um, and then you have a single handle to pull to pop the hood, which we will do here in a moment. Um, talking about things that you definitely tell an engineer came up with. They just apparently ran out of space or uh, brain power or something. And they stuck this fuel filter right here. It's not under the hood, y'all. It's not protected by anything. Um, all that's keeping it from being damaged is air and opportunity. So kudos to some engineers, but that will be an issue down the road. Uh, you'll have to be careful. Nice heavy duty axle. Um, seems like an upsized tie rod from what the other uh, 40 to 50 horse tractors they were making the old 4500 series it's kind of a cross between the 4500 series and the 5500 series that used to be fuel tank finally on a tractor this size for mahindra the fuel tank is right here not up there in the scuttle thank you for listening easy steps to get onto the platform a nice flat platform no sticks in the way in the floor a tilting wheel something neither the 45 or the 5500 series had a nice color-coded shuttle shift handle that you don't have to yank on uh, linkage was thought out on it it's nice and smooth everything color-coded up there we'll get into all that um, steel fenders all the way through no plastics no polymers no plastic or polymer flares i dig it it's awesome a setback rops uh, allows you to turn your head without knocking your hat off or knocking your brains out. That's nice when you're tired and your head's bobbing around and the ground's rough and it happens. So I like that as well. Simple light pods up there, high enough out of the way and in the inner inboard of the fenders enough that most people shouldn't knock them off. So that's good too. Your standard plow light that they've been using for 20 plus years, still using that's an area that needs improvement. It should have some sort of LED that doesn't look antique on it, but we'll take what we can get there. Um, leaves you plenty of room to mount an actual toolbox up here. Um, the ammo can toolbox will we'll mount there nicely. There's room for it. The top can open without getting into other things. You have one set of rear hydraulic remote standard with provision for two. You have a step right here on this shield. They wouldn't have put grips on it if it wasn't meant to be a step. And that folds up out of the way to get you to your 546 spline PTO. Uh, it also has the overdrive or 540E PTO. The swing and draw bar 
with this uh, nice handy safety locking clevis style hitch that's handier than you know uh, unless you've been using one both both uh, link arms are adjustable height adjustable um, you have the quick attaching or quick sorry the telescopic cat one and cat two on both sides nice and easy um coming around to this side this machine obviously is featuring the r4 industrial tires the battery box huge improvement it's down here and it swings away and opens up so you can drag a battery in and out of that tray when it's time for replacement charging or battery cable cleaning i like it i do wish they would have made it where uh there was a set of steps that come down over that and it could be on a on a tilt or a flip to get it out of your way to let the battery in and out uh, so you're you're pretty restricted to getting off and on on only the left side, which is common on this size tractor. So uh, dipstick right in there. It's got a nice big hole you can reach through to get to it. The engine oil fill, muffler, um, exhaust discharge. Not blowing against anything, not even close to blowing on any hydraulic hoses. Again, well thought out. And they seem to have a pretty decent sized steering ram. So once you get that loader loaded up with a bale of hay or a bucket of dense grade, etc., you should be good to go. Also, the, uh, the integrated loader joystick. And as you can see, there'll be a wire that's pre-wired hanging down, a little dongle that you can add the factory third function kits on to control your grapple. So overall, that's exciting. It's a nice tractor. Uh, I think it's gonna be uh, formidable. 3,100 pounds loader lift capacity at the pins, uh, 3,748 or something, you know, 38, 37, 3,800 pounds on the three point. Pretty dang nice tractor. Good job, Mahindra. Y'all did a good one. Um, look forward to seeing these in the field. They do have a bigger rear end than what we were accustomed to with bigger axle housings and such. So we didn't at our dealership see really any issue out of that but some others had reported that and we do have a drink holder up here and it's sizable that ought to hold a pretty good amount of coffee so anyway uh next we'll do a we'll climb up on the platform and uh, we'll go from the platform to under the hood